So, you got your saves. You you got Monster Hunter World. You got Monster Hunter Iceborne. You're really digging it. You're putting a lot of time into it. You know you're going to put a lot of time into it. You, you, you think you want to check out mods, all this kind of shit. You don't know if your saves are backed up. Go to twitch.tv slash hot semi Go in his chat. Exclamation point backup. Right here. You see that command pops up. Back up your damn PC MH World saves. Hot Sam IQ. This is this is high IQ right here. Open this up. Go to this page. Right here. This lovely, lovely person. Crush it. Wrote a script to automatically back up Monster Hunter PC saves since there were instances of people losing saves. Yes. Read through this whole thing. All right. Look, read this whole thing. Read it. Read it. I'm not reading it out loud. You're reading this. Read it. I'm going to put a different song on while you read this. Full screen my stream and read this. If you're here, uh, you know how to read. It's somewhat. Just get this information. And we're going to walk through the steps. Still going to read it, damn it. All right. So it's telling you all about it, running Windows Scheduler. We're going to go through the whole thing. <clears throat> how to make the script to back up the save, how to set up the scheduler so you don't have to worry about it. We're going to do the whole thing right here. So first thing, the code is here. Again, it'll only back up if there's a change to the save file. Otherwise, it skips all that cool stuff. Make sure you have 7-zip. If you don't have 7-zip, to go get it. You can you can go to a, a site called nineite.com right here and then just click seven zip. It'll give you a little installer. Install it. Install seven zip. It's free. You're also gonna need your Steam ID. Well, I'll show you how to get to that when we get to that step. But here you go to pastebin. Right here. Here's the code. Do you copy all of it? Just the whole thing. You can just download it even. Look at this. You can just download it. It'll be a bat file. It's safe. I promise you. I've downloaded it a bunch. It's safe. You could just download it. So boom, download it. Where is it going? Documents. You just I'm just I'm going to make a new folder for you guys. I'm just going to do this all in a new folder. New folder. I'm just going to call it uh I'm just going to call it Monster Hunter Save for right now. So there, Monster Hunter Save. Put the backup batch right in there. Boom. Use a use a text editor. Use a use a Notepad plus plus whatever. No Notepad. It doesn't matter. Just something to read the file. So go to that file you just downloaded. Open it up. Right here. Boom. There it is. It's a batch file. You can edit it. It's just a bunch of text with a different ex extension. Edit with Notepad because that's what I use to type stuff in and you don't have to use this you can use whatever you can use whatever doesn't matter here it is right there so this is a file this is this is the backup file right here It's not much to it. So you edit the edit the path right here. This is where you get your Steam ID. So you open up right here. Go to your Steam ID. You, you go to your Steam installation, wherever you have Steam installed, whether it's your C drive or E drive, whatever you have it right here. This is where I have it. Steam. Steam apps. Steam apps. No user data. That's your Steam ID, that number. It's not like it's secret or whatever. I can, I can show you guys mine, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna copy this number. Copy that number and you put that right here. Boom. 
and then you save. The script is done. The script is done. That's it. Like, that's all you got to do for the script. So now I can go to that script. It's going to go to it's going to go to this folder, not the one that I made, because that's what's here in the file, which is fine. It's going to go to Monster Hunter World Save Backups. Yeah, that's fine. But where is that? Where's that one I just made? Documents. Monster Hunter Save. So I run this script. Could not find. Oh, sorry. I got to change it because I changed mine. This is this is because I moved my Steam folder. I have to change mine to be the E drive. That's because I did some other stuff. If you just have Steam on your normal installation, wherever you have your Windows, you don't necessarily have to change that. This is just because I changed mine already. I installed Steam somewhere else. So, boom, I do this. That's where Steam is for me. There you go. See, this is this is good because this might happen to you. If you installed Steam to a different location, you think you're done. Remember, wherever you have Steam installed is where you have to change that path to be. So save. Now I run it. There you go. Boom. Backup happening. It's backing up. It just backed up my save right there. You can't get to where I'm at. Why? What did you not do? Did you install Steam to a different location? So look, if I go to if I go to that folder, which is documents, Monster Hunter World Save Backups. Where is that folder? It's user profile. Here, I can just go here. Again, I move my stuff around, so my locations are a little bit off from what the defaults are. Right here. Boom. There it is. There's the backup. There's the backup. 425. 830. Boom. So all you got to do if you want to make another backup is just double click that file. You don't know where your Steam folder is. So chances are your Steam folder, if you if you just installed it on your computer, it's probably on your C drive which is C program files, one of these two, and then there'll be a Steam folder. Like I said, mine's in a different spot. I don't know where your computer is, but Steam is somewhere on your computer, else you wouldn't have the game. That's the script. You just double click the script and you got it. That's it. Where is it at? Let me go back to it. I'm just going to move this into here. That's it. You run this. It's backing up. Nothing happened. The game has... I haven't saved in the game, so there's nothing for it to do. Boom. Saved. There it is. Saved. That's how you make the script. That's it. Just double click that. Follow every step I did. Like I said, only thing that might be different for you is your, your path. You got to find out where Steam is on your computer. You got it. You got to look that up. I don't have your computer. I'm not going to know exactly where you installed Steam or all that kind of stuff. Default path where you, where it probably is, is right there. If you installed it somewhere else, if your drive letters are different. Yeah. Can't even get all the numbers up. Are you listening to me? You're not listening. You got to find where your Steam install is. I can't do that for you. You have two different characters. Uh, all those under one save or two. What? 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 I don't even know what you're asking me. So again, go to your Steam. Go to user data. That's the number you want to copy. 
and fill the replace those X X X X X X. He has two characters. Are they both in the same file? Oh, Hunter characters. Yes, they're all in the same file. I thought you meant like letter characters. I was like, what? Like typing on a keyboard characters. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, it's all in the same file. Um, all right, so now you want to set it to be automatic so you don't have to think about it anymore. We're going to go through that. Windows scheduler. So you, you want to learn how to do that. We go to this post right here. I think this post is still, still active. Yeah, looks like it still is. I'm going to hit it. All righty, Lancer. Have a good one. You hit the Windows key. Right? I'm literally just... I'm reading right now for you guys. You should just be reading this. Scheduler. Task scheduler. Create a basic task. MH save. Call it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Daily. Next. Look at this. I'm just following this guide. It's, it's that easy. You set this up once and so you don't have to do it again. Select how often you want it to run. Daily. Start date. Current time. Select start program. Start a program. We're going to point it to the script we just made. It's the same script that we just made. which is in that spot that I wouldn't normally have it at, but I'm doing it. I'm leaving it there for the sake of, for the sake of showing you guys how to do this. So if we go to your documents and oh yeah, right there. This is the script right there. Boom. There's a script. Open property dialog for this when you finish. You want to click that because there's some things you want to change still. Right there. Click open properties. So here we go. Uh, run whether user is logged in or not. Yes. Run with highest privileges. Yes. So it doesn't matter. It'll just keep running. You go triggers, go to triggers, select this one, edit. Now, this is just going to make it so it runs however often you want. For me, I run it every 30 minutes because I'm obsessive. Every 30 minutes, every 30 minutes, I get a backup. So right here, every 30 minutes for a duration of a day, it runs daily. So that's every 30 minutes on a schedule. It starts the, the day you're making it, all that kind of stuff. So that, that's what I did there. I just changed, I check mark this and just set it to 30 minutes because that's how often I want it to run. If you want it to be every hour, you could do that. If you want it to be, you can type in here too. So you could do like 12 hours or whatever. 30 minutes. So then next you go to settings. Make sure to check run task as, po as soon as possible after schedule start is missed. So basically if something weird happens and you're doing a update or something weird and the script doesn't run, it'll just run again since the last time it missed it. So basically if you turn your computer off right before it would have ran and then you turn your computer back on it'll it'll just catch up and do another backup right there it'll run the script again so yeah that, and that that's it that's it you hit okay so i have to put my password in that's it and it'll just run mh save you can do like a test run Again, it's it'll run, but I had, nothing has changed on my game, so there's no there's no change on the save. Let me let me save in the game so it'll change.
So that just saved. Run. Look at that. Another backup. 838. You don't have to hit run like that. I'm just doing that so it so I can show you guys that it ran. Yeah, 838. That's it. So you're done now. You don't have to do anything anymore. It'll your backups will just go to this folder every 30 minutes, and that's it. You're done. You you don't have to worry about it. Now a further step. If you if you want to do this safely and you don't have to worry about your computer dying, you would change that that directory. You would change this uh this backup path to like a Google Drive path if you have Google Drive or something. So like like for me I would I would change this path to like something here like I have an MH folder. So I I'd set it to like, you know, MH or something like I'd, I'd change this path here to go to a, a folder on a Google Drive. So you do that. So if your computer blows up, it's at least somewhere on a cloud. So you could still get it even if your computer dies. So what you're doing now, you're backing it up. So if your Monster Hunter install dies, you still have your saves. But if your computer blows up, you pretty much just have whatever's in Steam Cloud. No, this doesn't back up mods. This is just your save data. This is just your progress in the game and all the stuff you got like that. This doesn't back up your saves. Your saves, or mods are kind of can be all over the place. So it depends on the mod. This just backs up your save. So there you go. You're you're done. That's it. Every 30 minutes, that's going to run. And I'm and I'm done. You, you don't have to worry about it. How long did that take? That took way longer than it would normally because I'm explaining it to you. I didn't have to go through step by step, explain it to you. You're just doing it for yourself. That's at most 30 minutes and you're good on saves. You don't have to worry about it anymore. At most 30, it really should take like 15. That's it. You're done. Your saves are backed up. It's that easy. It's that easy. There's no reason you folks shouldn't be backing up your saves. Back them up.